a quick review of uh, the dripping system that I've created a while ago. Um, the system is fairly simple. I'd like to run uh, through the setup and, um, and show how it was uh, made. Okay, so uh, here I'm starting with a simple geometry and I'm splitting it uh, with top and bottom part. Then I'm deleting the bottom part, so I so I want no particles on the bottom of the geometry. Then a little more geometry, and then um, I'm scattering a bunch of, bunch of uh, points on top of the geometry and creating a particle system and linking the geometry uh, to the system as well. Uh, so. Let me just turn it off. Um, so I'm starting with a, a, a with a drip base. Um, this is uh, created by default, and I'm em emitting a few particles just to uh, visualize. Um, Um, visualize the result. Um, then I'm creating a gravity uh, just to pull my particles down. Okay, so that's what we have. And um, seems like it's still working. Let's check. It's still working. Okay. Um, So right, um, here we have a gravity and we're coloring our particles. So we see our main particles, uh, our main drops, uh, just running through and going down. Then we're creating this uh, uh, full group, which is based on the base system, the Base, the drip base and would like to in my case I'm doing like condition H uh, uh, bigger than 3 and uh, if H is bigger than 3 then uh, just uh, assign it to, to a fall group okay so Let me just turn this off. Okay. And um, next, I'd like to create the trail of this um, running particles. So here we have the the drips trail, where we use we create a pop replicate where we use this drip base uh, stream. And um, here I'm creating, emitting a, like this is by default. So here we have our trails of our particles where I'm using shape as a point, so like a uh, scene trail. Okay, and just killing the velocity so it would. Uh, behave as a trail without having any additional velocities so yeah this is how it works and then um, I'm adding this fall group where I'd like to uh, particles at certain age uh, just start falling okay and uh, And here I'm creating a trail um, so um, so 
So here I'm creating a trail for for the fall group. Okay. So the same. I'm using fall group uh, in this case, and uh, same uh, particles by default, no velocities, and so on. Okay, uh, I'm omitting this uh, this as a color, just uh, to visualize. And this is the um, collision detect. I'm using, again, a uh, second context geometry. Maybe I should use the, the third one. So in case uh, so in case if we have like particle falling um, onto the same geometry, uh, it would uh, create a sliding effect, so it starts sliding. Okay. And also we have those particles just uh, sliding on the bottom of, uh, of the geometry. It will eventually uh, just uh, f uh, drip down, but uh, you may create an additional uh, grouping and just adding some uh, extra behavior on that, or simply just uh, delete those particles or just make them uh, attach them to a new group and just simply uh, make them fall. Okay, so I'm uh, just um, here we starting with the base, adding some gravity, just coloring, creating a full group of um, particles, adding trails to our uh, main particles. Here we're creating uh, the. Here we we would like to uh, stick all those particles to the geometry. So uh, here we're using the mean pulse expression where we use the second input, which is uh, like zero one two, the second input, which is our geometry. We'd like to our position of current particles to stick to our geometry. Okay, this is we probably don't need. So and uh, yeah um, so this is a basic setup uh, we can actually just uh, uh, make it better make it uh, more complex but for um, for as a, as a fast setup I think uh, this will work and yeah, after we have this, we create a trails, uh, small trails for our dropping particles, and additional drag, just to uh, just to limit our falling particles, uh, all the particles in this case. Okay. So after we created our particle system, uh, now we will want to kind of a uh, fill our geometry with, uh, with, uh, with little drops, okay, and um, uh, we would like to have the system to affect all those uh, drops, and then we have that illusion of uh, wetness, okay. So uh, here I'm scattering a bunch of points uh, to my geometry and color it with black. Oops, and here I'm coloring the drops with red, and um, and yes. So, so what we're doing here, we're uh, actually transferring uh, our color, and uh, by this, by doing this, we are uh, we can affect those. Uh, colored particles of those uh, smaller drops that are sc scattered onto geometry. But we're using the solver node where we would like to kind of um, have that uh, elongated effect 
of transferring the color and manipulate those colored particles. Okay, so uh, here I have the same attribute transfer. So uh, like the first geometry that we're using and uh, the dripping system. Okay, transferring our colors, and then we're using this. Uh, so by using the uh, point cloud open so I'm using the point cloud open to uh, add uh, the the red color to this black color okay and then I'm using a additional multiplier to uh, to control how long I'd like um, this color to uh, to exist okay uh, so if I put it to one and uh, go to the final so uh, here we have so uh, what I'm doing here actually uh, I'm I'm killing those uh, red particles and this way I'm creating uh, the path of the trail Okay, so it kind of collects all those smaller drops and runs uh, runs down. Okay, which uh, we can like see in real life. Okay, uh, but sometimes like uh, when we have like a small rain or a kind of a uh, quite wetting environment, so. You would constantly see uh, whenever all those runos, runovers will happen, it will fail those uh, smaller drops again. Okay, so by reducing the effect of that, let's say I, I'm giving it a smaller value, um, it will just fail. There's um, a trailing pass, okay, with with the drops again, so it has almost no effect. Uh, so I found for me, you know, it worked like somewhere 0.5, where I see the effect happening, but uh, after some time, it starts, it will start filling back again, okay. So let's put something smaller like four. Okay, as you see, let's just increase it was something like that, forty-five. So as you see, we we're uh, we're observing that uh, empty. Uh, past trails but at the same time uh, after a few frames start filling back again so this this way we're creating this um, wet effect or sweating effect okay and yeah that's about it then just add some geometry just mesh our particles um, and uh, yeah the next step is to render them yeah so so that's all i'd like to share uh hope you like the lesson and goodbye